A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true. Atheism is so senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. God gave the prophecies, not to gratify men's curiosity by enabling them to foreknow things, but that after they were fulfilled they might be interpreted by the event, and his own providence, not the interpreters, be thereby manifested to the world. I have studied these things, you have not. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention, than to any other talent. Nature is pleased with simplicity. And nature is no dummy. Philosophy is such an impertinently litigious lady, that a man had as good be engaged in lawsuits as have to do with her. This most elegant system of the sun, planets, and comets could not have arisen without the design, and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. To every action, there is always opposed an equal reaction. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. I keep the subject constantly before me and wait till the first dawnings open slowly by little and little, into a full and clear light. What the space that is empty of bodies is filled with. Yet one thing secures us whatever betide, the scriptures assures us that the Lord will provide. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who sets the planets in motion. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself. I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore, and diverting myself and now and then finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. If others would think as hard as I did, then they would get similar results. Nature is exceedingly simple, and harmonious with itself. They who search after the philosopher's stone, are, by their own rules obliged to a strict, and religious life. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity, and not in the multiplicity, and confusion of things. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you tried solving the Brachistochrone problem in a single night? As a blind man has no idea of colors, so have we no idea of the manner by which the all-wise God perceives, and understands all things. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. Live your life as an exclamation, rather than an explanation. The more time and devotion one spends in the worship of false gods, the less he is able to spend in that of the true one. Tis much better to do a little with certainty, and leave the rest for others that come, after than to explain all things by conjecture, without making sure of anything. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age. What we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. You have to make the rules, not follow them. 
and to every action, there is always an equal, and opposite or contrary, reaction. For it became him, God, who created them, the atoms, to set them in order. And if he did so, it's unphilosophical to seek for any other origin of the world, or to pretend that it might arise out of a chaos by the mere laws of nature. No old men, excepting Dr. Wallace, love mathematics. Trials are medicines which are gracious, and wise physician prescribes because we need them, and he proportions the frequency and weight of them to what the case requires. Let us trust his skill, and thank him for his prescription. What goes up, must come down. For I see not what there is desirable in public esteem, were I able to acquire and maintain it. It would perhaps increase my acquaintance, the thing which I chiefly study to decline. He who thinks half-heartedly will not believe in God, but he who really thinks has to believe in God. If I have done great things, it's because I was standing in the closet of smart men taking notes, and then publishing their ideas as my own. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. No great discovery was ever made, without a bold guess. Tact is the knack of making a point, without making an enemy. This principle of nature, being very remote from the conceptions of philosophers, I forbore to describe it in that book, lest I should be accounted an extravagant freak and so prejudice my readers against all those things which were the main design of the book. To myself, I am only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. We are to admit no more causes of natural things, than such as are both true, and sufficient to explain their appearances. Whence arises all that order, and beauty we see in the world. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please share like and subscribe to our channel. Success for all of us.